Medicines are commonly used in healthcare to treat and prevent disease. However, not everybody responds the same way to every medicine. For some people, medicines will work well, but for others, they may have harmful side effects or the drug might not work at all. When medicines don't work as planned, people might need to see their doctor more often or even end up in hospital with harmful side effects. This is bad for them and for the NHS. There are many reasons why a medicine might not work as planned. A person's age, their other medical issues and other medicines all play a role. Another important reason why a medicine might not work is related to a person's genetics. The study of how genetics impacts the safety and effectiveness of a medicine is known as pharmacogenetics. By using a person's pharmacogenetic information as part of their routine healthcare, medicines can be made safer and more effective. The results could be used by your doctor or pharmacist to choose the right medicine at the right dose for you with less trial and error. This could lead to better health outcomes for patients and could reduce pressure on the NHS. Right now, there is not much pharmacogenetic testing undertaken in the NHS. One reason for this is that in the past, the testing was very expensive and took a long time. However, genetic testing is now cheaper and quicker than it has ever been. The main issue preventing pharmacogenetic testing in the NHS now is related to how to move the test results around the NHS. Only a small number of specialist NHS laboratories can perform pharmacogenetic testing, but the test results need to be used across the NHS wherever patients are receiving care. The NHS is leading a project to overcome this challenge, working with patients and NHS staff to develop solutions to move the genetic data securely to where it's needed. One of the ways this is being looked at is through a pilot project in a small number of general practices across England. Patients who are going to be prescribed certain types of commonly used medicines will be eligible to take part. This is how the study will work. When a patient attends an appointment at their GP practice, if they are eligible, they will be asked if they are interested in taking part. If they agree, they will give a blood or saliva sample, which will be sent to a specialist NHS laboratory for testing. The DNA from these samples will be tested for genetic changes related to how people respond to medicines. These results will be stored securely and confidentially within the NHS laboratory. It will take around one week for the test results to be made available to the GP and pharmacy teams. Once the results are made available, these can be used to help select the best medicines for the patient. For some people, the results will show that their originally planned medicines should work well. In other people, the results may show that a higher or lower dose or a different medicine altogether may be more appropriate for them. The patient can then collect their prescriptions from the pharmacy. Over the course of the study, the research team will monitor how this genetic information is used and how it improves the safety and effectiveness of medicines. As these results are relevant to many different medicines, these pharmacogenetic test results will be used across a person's lifetime. Because of this, each time they need a new medication, the doctor or pharmacist will be able to use their test results to help pick the right medicine. As well as these results being made available to NHS staff, the project is working with patients, their family and carers, and the public to find out the best way for people to access their own results. This project has brought together NHS staff, scientists and patients from around the country. And if successful, it could lead to the use of pharmacogenetics in everyday clinical practice. Using pharmacogenetic information in the NHS could personalise medicines for patients, saving money for the NHS and improving patients' lives.